Hello everybody, how are we doing out there? Sorry, it's so, so dark and light, so bright I can't see anybody, but it's, it's beautiful to hear your voices and clapping. That's awesome. Um, are you guys ready to have some fun tonight? Good. I'm so glad you're with us. Welcome to the fall semester San Juan College African Drumming Ensemble concert. Um, we're really glad you're here. Thanks for coming out, sharing your evening with us. Uh, there's a couple people I'd like to thank. Ed Hassenbaum, Micah up there in the booth, uh, all the stage crew help. The administrators for San Juan College, Dr. Pendergrass, Dean Boggs, Don Ellis, Lynnae Easley, the foundation, the board, and also Josh Rosen and Chris, um, or Josh Bishop and Chris Rosen for filming our concerts. So please give them a round of applause. My name is Tom Fetz. I'm the music professor here at San Juan College and the director of instrumental music. And we want to welcome you and wish you happy holidays. And uh, this is the end of finals week, so we're all excited. The semester's almost over. <laughs> okay. um, we hope that throughout the night, you will feel comfortable and willing to sing, clap, just join us in general, uh, move around and dance. This isn't the type of concert where you have to sit still and be quiet and behave. Um, you can kind of move your feet and groove a little bit and feel free to move around the theater a little. Obviously respect those around you, but I think um, the nice thing about this type of music and activity is that it's interactive and fun. It's not supposed to be stodgy. So please make yourself uncomfortable at all times and um, you know do what feels right. Uh, this activity culturally is really interconnected with dance and that's part of why I say that. A lot of it is non-verbal communication in their culture through ceremonies, rituals, parties, and sort of a sense of community cultural pride and tradition. Uh, the music and dance basically tell stories. Just as we have sports games and music and parades and civic events, this type of drumming in the African culture speaks towards their heritage and their tradition um, as an ethnic group of people and also communicates the stories and feelings through music and dance of nonverbal means. So, as well as some singing, as you, as you noticed when we did more about it there. But it's basically communication through rhythm. So we hope that you will clap and sing along with us throughout the night. The first tune was called Mori Bayasa, if you didn't get that. <laughs> Mori Bayasa is a dance of the Malinke people of West Africa. It's danced in Guinea, Mali, and other West African countries. Um, basically, the story goes when women need help for something very important um, or wished for something important that came true, like becoming pregnant or healing from sickness. They ask the spirit of Mori Bayasa for help. The woman vows that when the wish is granted, she will dance the Mori Bayasa. To dance the Mori Bayasa, the woman dresses in rags, messes up her hair, acts crazy, and dances to the beat of drums. The other women in the town accompany her with djembe drummers. They dance around the town several times, usually ending on the outskirts of the village at an old tree that's sometimes called the Mori Bayasa. In fact, Mama De Kaita, sort of our guru in the uh, West African drumming culture, has a mango tree in his village that's named Mori Bayasa. And the woman then leaves the racks behind the tree or buries them there, sort of leaving the past behind, getting rid of the old kind of negativity and welcoming the new positivity. The lyrics of the song that we sang translate to Mori Bayasa, hey Mori Bayasa, and then the name of the person, so we introduce you to all the people here, has come to play the Mori Bayasa. We have to wash the Mori Bayasa, we have to dress the Mori Bayasa, we have to dance the Mori Bayasa, and we have to play the Mori Bayasa. So hopefully we did that. <laughs> and hopefully you got everybody's name in there. I know it was a little bit funky. All right, the next dude is called Mamaya, and it's an old Meninge dance. Um, Mamaya was very popular in Guinea during the 1940s through the 60s. Uh, traditionally, it's a very stately dance. It was performed in a club or in a group that was um, where one was part of, uh, sort of a, a club sort of uh, theme, if you will. Uh, dressed in galvas and embroidered shirts, male and female dancers could express their beauty while dancing in two circles, men in the outer circle and women in the inner circle. Dance steps were made in a majestic way, and a handkerchief or decorated stick was used as an attribute. The rhythm started with the singing of a griot and or music made with a balafon, balon, or a tama. Ma Mama de Kaita and Fama du Konate, who are two of our heroes in the Western African drumming world, have their own interpretations of the Maya, and uh, the melody compares very, very uh, frequently to all of the traditions going back to the 40s. So, we are going to play the Maya for you.
All right, thank you guys so much. All right, so the Congress Congress players or Afro Cuban Quartet, I'll call them, is going to be featured on our next tune. And while they're kind of setting up, I'm going to do a little audience participation with you. So we're going to do a little call and response. And then after this tune we play, I'm going to invite people up to play some drums with us. All right? So all I want you to do is listen to the rhythm I play and clap it back. Or if you'd rather pat your leg, whatever makes you feel good, that's all right. We're just trying to get you involved a little bit here. So just follow along. So I'll play a rhythm and you just clap it back. So this is Makuda.
uh, Greg Mason on uh, Craig Mason on congas, Brian Deans on Cajon, we had Ian Lewis on congas, and Sherry Johnson on congas. That was an incognito appearance by Mr. Sadul, who <laughs> okay, came up, and hopefully we'll see him later. I'll tell you more about him in a while. All right, we're going to continue on with the program now. Um, next up is a tune called Matai, which Erica Vanekow is going to lead. And Matai is a name for the rhythm that um, was learned from, I learned it from the Jimmy Polo Master Fama du Canate, and he plays it on this uh, video CD called Percussion of the Chance the Guinea 2. Um, the song is from Guinea, and it's about an older woman who was once a great dancer. So we're going to get set up for Matai, and we'll be with you very shortly.
All right. Next up is a tune called Mendiani. Uh, Mendiani is a Malike rhythm, again from Guinea, uh, played in the areas of Siguri, Mendiana, Kurasa, and Cancan. Uh, the dance is performed by virgins. There is a special costume for this dance. Uh, the men basically carry the girls to the dance floor of the village. The girls then start uh, the dancing, and many villages have got their own what they call Mendiani, quote unquote, who is the girl for that period that is the best dancer. Uh, when she gets older, a successor is pointed out, and she learns the Mendiani from the elder, and uh, at night, outside of the village. So this is Mendiani, and it's going to feature everybody.
Jezba Benali. Mr. Craig Mason. Mr. Brian Dean. Mr. Charlie Higby from Durango. And also from Durango, Ms. Stephanie Hurt. Ms. Kate Bryan. And our youngest member, who we're proud to say is part of this class, Mr. Ann Lewis. How old are you? 13 years old. I won't ask you to hold the stage, but we have a nice wide range in all of ourselves, actually. All right, next to A and down here is Miss Erica Vanikow. You met. And then we would not be able to function without our great shaker A player, Miss Tiffany Vanikow. Back there on the Dunans, we have the same bond there in the middle. That's Miss Ginny Jones. And on the Dunan bond is Sherry Johnson. And you had a brief glimpse at our fine dancer, Mr. Sadula Dayaka, who will come back in about a, one more song to finish off with our crew. So we're going to do one more before that. This one is called Madon. Madonna is a rhythm from the Malinke uh, ethnic group, uh, originating from the Kankaba region of Mali. Um, it's known as Pamaka Circle, similar to Cuckoo in Guinea. Uh, the Madonna is played at the end of the harvest to celebrate uh, plenty and prosperity, basically. It is also played as a welcome during popular festivities. The Madonna can be interpreted in several ways. Um, in the Siguri and the Mandiana region of Guinea, the Madonna is also called Jogbe. D-J-A-G-B-E, so sometimes you'll see this tune with either title. It is played for the feasts at the end of the Ramadan, which is the 13th day, as well as for the Sheep Festival. So we're going to do a little swing tune here that's going to feature everyone on the unison solo as well. This is called Madonna.
All right. We're on to our last tune of the night. Um, we want to thank you all for coming out and sharing your evening with us. We hope you come back again in the future. Have you guys had a good time? Yeah. I can't tell you how much it means to everybody on stage. Your support, your kindness, your generosity, and just your overall enthusiasm. It really makes a big difference. So we hope to see you at upcoming concerts. If you want more music, tomorrow night over in the performance hall of Henderson, we're going to be doing a Christmas extravaganza which is gonna feature pretty much every ensemble with the exception of the African German group. It's gonna be the chorus, the vocal ensemble, which is called Company, the orchestra, the symphonic band, and a jazz combo. So that's at seven tomorrow night over in the performance hall. And then we will have another concert coming up in April. So we hope you come back to see us. Um, I wanna make sure that I wish everybody happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Um, and there's a couple other things I'll say, but last tune of the night is Matt Crew. My crew is a Susu Seduction dance. Uh, we have a special guest dancer, as you met him briefly, Sedul with us. He's from Liberia. Uh, this dance is often played in a combination with a tune called Yankity. Uh, Yankity is the slow part, and my crew is the fast part of the dance. Uh, the song um, from Baga Guinea is about basically the lust to dance among the Baga women. A translation of the words that go with it are, will you dance? Or will you not dance? The Baga women even dance in the car. <laughs> then the song finishes by saying, Ole, ole le ko, ole le ko, ole, ole ko, wea, Africa wea, wea, Africa wea, ole, ole ko. And I'm obviously paraphrasing a little bit there. <laughs> All right. So before I leave you guys or just let us play the last tune, uh, there's just a couple things I wanted to mention. Um, I think it's really important to know that this group is made up of a lot of different experience levels and just general backgrounds. Um, this is a group that we want to encourage you to think about enrolling and joining with us. You don't need music experience. Um, you don't need training on this instrument. I mean, we gave you a little bit tonight, actually. But <laughs> Everybody that is playing in this group is doing really well, and most of them started from scratch without any kind of instruction. So we want to encourage you to sign up for the class and enroll um, for this class and come join us. The class meets Mondays and Wednesdays from 4 to 5, and you can enroll either through the College Enrollment Services or the Community Learning Center. And basically, I think that you get to learn a new language. You get to communicate on the gym day with hand technique and rhythm patterns. You learn three sounds and the traditional rhythms that have been played basically since the 15th century in West Africa. Um, there's an introduction to the dunan drums in the back there. You make new friends. You have fun learning West African rhythms on the djembe and the dunans. And African drumming, I think, is just a really accessible means of music for beginners and those who have studied. So we've got people in here that are really serious, have been to clinics and have done a lot of work, and people that just started this semester that are just getting their feet wet. So that's what I'm really proud of is this group. They've challenged themselves, and um, I think each person will be challenged depending on their level, but I hope that you guys would agree this has been a rewarding experience for you. So we hope that you will join us at some point. And I would just finish by saying a quote from the Malinke tribe, Guinea proverb says, quote, without music, there is no joy. Without joy, there is no music. So keep that one in your mind as we play this last one. This is called Macru. And again, it's going to feature several people as well as our fine dancer, Sadul. Good night, everybody. Have a great, safe holiday season.
Good night.